Okay, by now, you should at least have had been able to connect up a camera and audio in some fashion, either from your laptop or your DSLR or your mirrors or whatever. Let's just take a break from that before we get into the more sophisticated stuff and have a little bit of fun. If you happen to have this or other scenes, if you right click, rename, let's call this testing widgets or whatever you want. So remember, we have scenes over here and sources over here are what applies to this. But I just want to show you the scary thing that everybody runs into here. And they're like, what? This is a big confusion when you run OBS, a huge confusion. We're already familiar with creating text. Follow along and create some text. And we're just going to call this, let's call it text demo. Okay. Now this comes up. You can select your font. You can select all this other stuff. Let's just say big pile of text. Okay screen. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab or select all this. I'm going to copy it and I'm just going to paste this multiple times. For me, I'm using control V. So let's just paste a bunch of text in here, blah, blah, blah. And we're just going to leave it like that. We're going to press okay and say, that's what we want. Boom. Now we can obviously move this thing down here and move it around and we can make it bigger or smaller by grabbing this little thing, whatever you want to do. And I'll show you how to do all this stuff really fast later. Let's just put it down here. Just stick it right down there. Always remember, lock things down so you don't move them accidentally. We'll go into this later, but we're just going to have some fun. I'm going to right click and go filter, effects filters. This is the same as down here. You can add a bunch of effects. You can move them up and down using these up and down arrow keys. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to add this little effect filter. See how it says effect filter? Um, and we're going to add a scroll. Do that. Scroll. You can name it whatever you want. I just use the default name. Boom. And it does absolutely nothing. Here's what you want to do. Make sure loop is on and move this horizontal scroll over. Boop. Look at that. Right behind there. We got scrolling text. You can do some weird, wacky things. Let's make this smaller. You can do vertical scrolling too. Oh my goodness. If you ever run into trouble, hit defaults, boom, and it'll reset everything. Let's just keep this thing scrolling like that. Just run it over there and say close. So now we got our text demo going. Look at that big pile of text. Okay. Okay. You now created scrolling text and you can modify this. You can click on here and go properties or double click and get properties. That's the properties of the text. They even have a select font and color in this thing. It just brings up the same. There's the font thing. You know, let's make it Arial black. Okay. Boom. Uh, you can select the color. It brings up the color thing. Cool. Properties gives you the whole nine yards. There we go. And let's do something cool. Let's Scroll down and let's make a gradient out of this. And then a bunch of stuff pops up. Just disregard all this other stuff. And let's just make it something ugly like pink. Pink it is. We get this gradient big pile of text pink. So you've already created something animated in here. And you're not using any assets outside of OBS. If you want to restart it, you stop it and hide it here. If you want to start it again, you do that. Just like that. Remember that timer where you turn it off and it starts over like that. Now here's a real cool thing about this little text widget thing. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to go to our place where we keep all our stuff. Again, desktop, OBS, media, text files. Now, however you do this, I, I don't know. Maybe you're on a Mac or whatever. Me personally, I go, let's create a new text document. It's just a regular old text document and we'll call it a uh, scroll text demo just for the heck of it. Let's open this up. It's just notepad. And we're just going to put some, hey, I wonder if that text is still in there. It is. A big pile of text is still in there. We're going to paste that in. We're also going to say uh, next pile of text. Boom. Welcome to my live stream starts soon. Period. I'm just going to leave that like that. Okay. We can close this window. Now, we're gonna, I'm going to save this. Boom. And here's what happens is I can come over here and instead of using the text in here, I can say, hey, I want to read this from file. I click that little button. I go off and I browse. I go to desktop, OBS, media, text files. Boom. Open that up. Kapow. Let's close this. Okay. Live stream starts soon. Remember this little thing? A uh, big pile of text, D, 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 D. And maybe we want to edit this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's add that. Let's pick save and watch over here when I pick save. Boom. 
The second it's going to recognize it, see that? And here's a big pile of text. Start soon. I can say, uh, thanks for, oh my, joining me. Boop. Now when I save that, boom, using control S, boom. Thanks for joining me. And this thing will just scroll forever and a day and forever. Um, that's just a touch of what you can do with this text thing. We can also grab this. If we want to make it smaller, we just keep, you know, dragging this little dude down, um, making it smaller. Whee! Look at that. And we can make it really small. There's other ways to do this simpler, but I just don't want to do anything. We can even throw this off of here. And we'll just set that down there. Big pile of text. Next pile of text, welcome, blah, blah, blah. And at any time I can go in and find, which is why I said you want to put them in desktop, OBS, media, text files. At any time I can file that, find that, I can open it up and I can modify it. This is super helpful if you have different guests, if you have different streams, if you want to change things, you just change it here once and then you get this down here every time. It's really cool and then you don't have to go in and change all this stuff. Make sure we lock it down. That's a short instruction on text. Hopefully you got your text going. Hopefully you got some ugly whatever going here and everything else and it's scrolling. Now let's move on to building your system the correct way.